Just over a year into Montana's recreational marijuana program, the legal framework for the system has shifted again with new laws passed by the Montana legislature and signed by Governor Greg Gianforte this week. MTN's senior political reporter Jonathan Ambarian breaks down some of the biggest changes for dispensaries. Changes to the state marijuana program were under debate here at the state capitol until the very last day of the Montana legislative session. House bills 128 and 903 each passed their final vote just minutes before the House adjourned. The two bills each made a wide range of changes to Montana's marijuana laws, and in one key case, a change required both of them to become law. The new laws extend the state's moratorium on new recreational marijuana sellers for two years through the summer of 2025. They also significantly increase the licensing fee for providers that operate multiple dispensaries, $5,000 for the first, $10,000 for the second, and $5,000 more for each additional one. The changes also loosen some of the restrictions on marijuana licensing that were guaranteed to Montana tribes. Coordinating language tying the two bills together also allows several providers who had been medical only to enter the recreational market. Cotty Fulton, the co-owner of Armadillo Buds in Glendive, led a campaign to allow adult use sales in Dawson County. But after the successful election, she found she was still only allowed to make medical sales because she got her license a few weeks after the state legalization vote in 2020. She says as people shifted from the medical system to the recreational system, her business was left relying on seven patients to keep going. I, I, my back was up against the wall. We had a couple of investors that I would have had to sell the family home to pay them back. But when Gianforte signed the two bills, that meant medical providers that started before April 2021 could start recreational sales. Armadillo Buds had its first official day of adult use sales on Tuesday. We had three recreational sales, and it was just probably the most beautiful thing I've seen in a long time. House Bill 903 also requires that the state perform a review on any doctor who approves more than 39 patients for a medical marijuana card in a single year. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News.